Hello and welcome to MJ Golf Guides. My name is Martin Durr and today I want to show you around my home course of Glengariff Golf Club in County Cork, Ireland. So as we make our way down to the tee, just a little bit about the course. It's a nine hole course. Um, it's a par 66 for the 18 holes. On paper, it doesn't look like a very long course, but that's deceiving because the elevations on the course a lot of the holes actually play a lot longer than their yardages. So you will find uh, 300 yard par four, but it's actually playing like 350. Um, the other thing with the course is that it's very tight. So you've got a lot of danger left and right on basically the majority of the holes really. Um, it's a tactical course more than a long hitters course. So you might find yourself playing a lot of irons off the tees just to stay safe. Um, you got internal out of bounds, you've got the course boundaries out of bounds, you've got lovely oak forests around the course which you very likely will end up at, at some stage and you've also got very small greens so accuracy is key on the course. Anyway let's head down to the first tee um, and I hope you enjoy this uh, series of course vlogs. I'm going to be doing the course in three parts so three holes per part um, so we cover all the nine holes. Anyway, I hope you enjoy, um, and we're nearly at the first tee, so let's have a look at the first hole from the first tee. So here you can see the first hole. Um, I hope you like the little uh, course map that was uh, done by yours truly here. Um, so we've got a par four, 296 yards, index 11 uh, slash 12, uh, the second number is when you're playing the second nine. Um, Blue Lou Bar down there, if you're ever in Glengarf and you fancy a nice point of Murphy's, make sure and call into them. Tell Chris that MJ Golf Guide sent you. And the other thing you'll notice is, if you see uh, up here, all the holes, they're named after a Maureen O'Hara movie. And I'll talk a little bit more about um, Maureen O'Hara's influence in the, the golf club here uh, as we walk around the course. So anyway, let's head down to the first tee. Okay, so as you can see, the first hole is par four, and this is one of the holes where it doesn't play as it's yardage. It plays a lot longer, well, maybe 50, 60 yards longer, because it's uphill. Uh, on the left-hand side, we've got out of bounds, and on the right-hand side, we've got a cluster of trees to avoid. So the main goal for this hole is basically to get it up on the top of the hill towards that white house in the distance, so that you leave yourself on the plateau and you can see the green for your next shot. So let's have a crack at it and see if I can put it exactly where I want it. Okay, so that didn't exactly go as far as I wanted. Uh, I still have 75 yards to the flag. Um, so I was hoping to get it further up the hill. But anyway, just gonna hit in and just pitch it in with a 52 degree. We're still playing a little bit up the hill. So I just want to make sure and get it back there. Should be pretty good, I think that's beside the pin. So yeah, that was a nice shot. My pitch mark here just behind the, the flag. Um, I think maybe two foot. Oh yeah, it is down the hill, but let's see if we can secure a birdie in the first hole. It'll be a nice, nice start. But it is downhill, so I'm just trying to be a little bit confident with it. There it is. Start off with a birdie. How nice is that? Let's move on to the next hole. So hole number two, it's a par four again, 291 yards. Index 15, 16. Um, that's your view up the fairway. The, the hole is up there, right on top of the hill. We've got out of bounds on the left hand side with the road and we've got this this big bank here on the, sorry, the road is on the left hand side. And we've got this big bank 
on the right, um, which can be quite heavy if you're stuck inside in it. So we try and keep away from that. Again, the goal is to get up to as far up the hill as possible, maybe about 50 yards from the green. It's a lot more left than I want it to be. It's up in the hill somewhere. Okay, so I'm a lot further left than I wanted to be. Uh, but I mean, it's not a bad angle in because the wind is sort of coming in this way. So I've got about 60 yards to the flag. A um, little bit of a stiff breeze, so I'm actually, I'm actually gonna hit the little 52 again. Just try and make sure to get it on the green, on the dance floor. I think that should be good. Hopefully that stopped in time. So I was lucky, stayed on the green, just about. But while I'm repairing my pitch mark, why don't you just take a moment to admire that beautiful view behind me. That's, um, that's one of the reasons I love this course is that view out there. It's something I missed when I was away for so many years and it's lovely to come back to it. I mean, they didn't have that hard of a second shot in. Just went a bit crazy with it, or else maybe the wind wasn't as strong as I thought. Either way, I've left myself a very long birdie putt. Oh, travel, travel, travel. Ah, had a good line on that. It's a little bit short. So I take my time. Tap in for the power. Okay. Good save power, no harm done. Okay, hole number three, it's a par three. It's 170 yards, index five. Um, this is a tough little hole. We got out of bounds on the left, we got out of bounds on the right. We've got trouble long. Um, the miss is short, but it's a tough up and down. So let's see how we get on with this one. Okay, so today, thankfully there's no, not a lot of wind against us. So I'm just gonna hit a little five iron in there. Um, it's quite a deceptive little hole. So, yeah, let's see what we can do. It's a little bit to the left of the green. But it should be okay, I'm hoping. So I mentioned the link earlier with um, Maura Nahara, the Hollywood actress, and the golf club here. So she lived in the area for a number of years and she was actually the honorary president of the, um, the ladies branch of the golf club up until her death. So she had a big influence in the place. Uh, you see all the signage around is, you know, it, it says something about Marion Hara. Um, she was a big character in the area and you know our club was very lucky to be associated with somebody that was somebody that was so famous and that was so popular back in Hollywood back in the day. It's um it's 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 really nice that we have that link with somebody like that. See I've just ended up left side of the green got this little bank to come over um, I have a good bit of the green to play with so I think I'm just going to run in a little pitching wedge up there. Uh, hopefully that'll get it close to the hole. I think the greens are after firming out a lot in the last week or so. So before you can nearly throw this right at the hole, whereas in the last week there should be a bit more run on it. Didn't run out as hard as I much, as much as I thought even. Anyway, I got about six foot left for par. Okay, so these greens sometimes have deceptive little slopes on them. So this is by no means a gimme putt. I'm actually just gonna hit it maybe a little bit left edge, see if it falls in that way. Oh, 
and give it enough lift edge. Okay. Boogie. Disappointing. Okay, so that ends part one. That's the first three holes of Glingarf Golf Club. Uh, currently sitting at one over, but as you can see, it can be a tricky little course. It's not about length, it's all about accuracy. So the next three holes, you'll see that even more. Uh, so join me again for the next part. We play the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth holes. We'll see you then.